And just like that, it's draft season, ladies and gentlemen. Dak Prescott is headed to the IR in all likelihood. Okay, and don't be surprised if that is actually the season-ending IR, not the designated to return version of that that we always are that we're usually hoping for in these circumstances. So that leaves really just one question. All right, and it's Trey Lance versus Cooper Rush. And to me, there's really only one right answer. I'm going to give you that answer in just a second. I'm going to make it short and sweet real quick. So with that, I need your full and undivided attention because much like Jerry Jones. All right, let's talk about it. Three, two, one. Here we go. So, as mentioned, okay, there's only one right answer. That answer is Trey Lance. It's time to let Trey tank, the triple option Trey, that is, uh, for the sixth time now in the last 24 hours that I've mentioned that online. Uh, some people seem to to disagree, but that's okay. Uh, and it doesn't mean that that it's right and that's what's going to happen. Y'all just want y'all to know that, okay? That just It just means that that's what should happen, right? Anything to the contrary. Here's what I want you to really understand, okay? This is the most important message to me. We know – right here, make sure y'all can see this. We know what Cooper Rush is, okay? And while most people would be willing to bang the table and – and, and, and say that they know what Trey Lance is as well. We still really don't. Okay. But even if we did, you still have to let him have the opportunity to sort of rectify the play that we saw in the preseason and see if you can't let him play his way into a future comp pick, a 2026 comp pick when he, assuming he inevitably walks this off season. Okay. So there's two options with that, right? And the reason why it's there's only one right answer. Either he does that, he plays his way into a future comp pick, 2026, or he plays his way into the Cowboys seeing their draft slot continue to rise into potentially the top five ranks of the world, okay? Responding to the star we are right here, there's only one right answer. That answer is Trey. Either Trey plays his way into the Cowboys improving their 2025 draft slot or he plays his way into the Cowboys comp pick in 2026. And then I just added the bottom part there for fun. But there is a chance that he does achieve both at the same time. Very slim, very outside chance, but a chance nonetheless. Okay, once again, we know what Cooper Rush is. A Sending Cooper Rush out there, assuming Dak does miss multiple weeks, probably on IR and potentially season ending, like I said, running Cooper Rush out there is, a, is, is, is selling false hope. To a, to a fan base that's no longer buying. Okay. It's 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 more snake oil, it's more hopium, it's more bull, it's more BS. Okay. Another punchline for you right here. Follow me on Twitter if you're not already at the Lando show. It's where I do round the clock work. If I don't have time to sit down and edit a short form project or even hop on here for a 30 minute video, this one's gonna be much shorter than that, but still you get the point. This is sort of the underlying sentiment, and it's it's my lighthearted way of sort of acknowledging what's 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 happening right now. Okay, the the master plan that the Jones has set up for that I sort of realized about a month and a half ago or so, uh, it became very clear that they were setting up the financials for to actually retool and makes make things happen. Fresh start, fresh slate, coaching staff, hundred million dollars in cap space in twenty twenty five. Okay. Jeff Cavanaugh did the exercise in the last video. You heard me talk about that again. Go, go, please go rewatch that. Jeff's Jeff's video. He did this breakdown for you, talking about what all in actually means and 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 proof of it. Just with looking at the financial situation. Okay. Brandon Cooks, Zach Martin, Demarcus Lawrence are going to account for about twenty million dollars worth of dead money next year. Okay. The Cowboys currently have $24 million in cap space right now. They are they are the reason why they won't be buyers and they're not going to be spending at the trade deadline. That's 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 tomorrow. Make sure today's the fourth. Yeah. Election day and trade deadline happening all at the same time. They're not going to be buyers because they're keeping the cash spending clean for next year. So they're going to let the 2024 cap space that they currently have carry over and take care of Brandon Cooks, Zach Martin. Demarcus Lawrence wipe that and then they're going to restructure CD Lamb or they'll have the ability to restructure CD, Dak, 
and a few other switches they can flip and instantly create $100 million from all the void years that they have tacked on at the end of those contracts. Okay, that's 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 real life, right? Well, this tweet, if Jordan Phillips' wrist hurt it for four weeks, then Dax Hammy, Micah's ankle, Trey's calf, and CD's shoulder can hurt it for the rest of the season too. I'm just saying. Mostly kidding about that part, the, the team phantom IR, right? That, that was the, the ode to Jordan Phillips there, who was phantom IR'd after two weeks with a fake wrist injury that he acknowledged publicly in the locker room that it wasn't an actual injury at all. Because play is play, and they do so for the love of the game. But y'all are picking up what I'm putting down, meaning the greater the, the, the best interest for this team right now is to continue to lose, which is why the whole Cooper Rush thing is, is silly. It's nonsense. It's, it's BS. He doesn't even make as much money as Trey Lance does anyways. $5.1 million. Trey Lance makes more than Joe Flacco for, for those uh, who understand why that is, like just can comprehend that context. Okay. On the other hand, team let Trey tank. I'm dead serious about give Al Harris the keys for the culture in 2024. And then we'll have fun letting Deuce, Trey and Rico get loose. The rest of the young savages on the defensive side can just play free and go ball familiarize and acclimate to the league and come of age before our eyes. No pressure. Just go play. That that culture thing, I'm 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 serious about too. And and if if anybody thinks whatever you think r- levels of respect that the locker room has for Mike McCarthy, I guarantee you it's tenfold that for Al Harris. Ten plus picks and counting already. Hundred million dollars in cap space, which is what I just explained a second ago. Fresh perspective and new energy in 2025. Easy to get behind. Okay, but wait. This is where it gets fun. <laughs> Lord Jones always looms. So none of it matters, right? Stay tuned. So we're just going to kind of watch a little bit and unpack and continue to unpack. Like I told you, I've got more things planned on this that I want to continue to expand upon. Uh, but that's where I stand right now. Yes, I do believe that being sellers at the deadline makes too much sense, Not right? Not to give it heavy consideration. Zach Martin might have might be some use or of some use to some team that's looking to make a run. Uh, he's clearly not even close to the same version of himself that we got so accustomed to, the Hall of Fame version of himself. But Demarcus Lawrence, yes, he's currently on injured reserve. He would absolutely bring value to somebody, one, still one of the premier et, just run stoppers in the uh, at the edge position in the entire National Football League. Jordan Lewis, highly competent slot defender. There's, there's, it's, you know, it's just much like the offensive line position. It's a, it's a complete. It's just a, it's a, it's a, it's an epidemic of corner talent and league right now. Most teams are lucky to say that they're confident if they, that, if, that they have two of them or that, that, that they have one and they're lucky to have two. Okay. The Cowboys actually have three when they're all fully healthy, but that just hasn't been the case this year. Okay. So, uh, and then the other guy, um, actually, who did I say already? Zach Martin, Jordan Lewis, Demarcus Lawrence. I know there's, a, Oh, oh, so diggy Zua on an expiring contract makes some sense as well. Young talent. Um, Defensive interior player can bring some pass rush ability. You put him behind, let him spell somebody like, say, I don't know, Chris Jones on the Chiefs. I could see that being a, a fun piece. Just go let him hunt the quarterback down the stretch, uh, keep him fresh where he's not being asked to play 40 snap, 50 snaps a game. And, you know, his, his seasonal wear and tear, he breaks down down the stretch. You guys get it. Okay. But I'm going to get up out of here. There's one right answer. That answer is Trey Lance. Anything else to the contrary is fake hopium. And false optimism. All right. I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Remember, prayer changes things, and the war is already won. Talk to you soon.